topic, it's the one that I struggle with a lot. Or I used to struggle with a lot. I need, until I understood the art of forgiveness. So today, we're talking about forgiveness. Welcome everyone to the Christian channel. I am your host, Levo. So today, we're talking about how do you forgive? And how do you forgive when the person that has hurt you is not sorry? Or hasn't even apologized? Somebody recently asked me a question to say to me, what would have happened to my life if God did not forgive me? I had to let that sink in. Like I took a, minute, a second for, for you to let it sink in. What would have happened to your life if God didn't give you a second chance? None of us are perfect. He who has no sin, let them cast a stone. But sometimes some th people do things so deep that everywhere you look, you cannot find a way to forgive them. But I'm here to tell you that forgiveness is not for you. It's for God. Leave it unto God and God will do his will. So today, I've got four questions or four tips that helped me to let go. Because I needed to let go. I needed to have peace. I needed to find my happiness. And there was no way. You see, the thing about forgiveness is it can get you stuck in one position, up one position up until you allow yourself to forgive. You will be stuck and the person that would have hurt you would have been prospering in their lives and moving on and you would be standing there looking for ways to move on. So, if you do not forgive, it's like you're drinking poison and expecting the other person to die. But yet you are the one who's feeling more pain. So you see, forgiveness is not necessarily about the other person, but for you. So, tip number one, trust God to deal with whomever is hurting you. So I'm going to be reading for Romans 12 verse 19. Do not take any revenge, my friend, but leave that for God. For it is written, it is mine to avenge. And I will repay, says the Lord. So you see, I always say, when God repays, he doubles. I hope not. <laughs> but I would rather have God fighting my battles than me fighting my battles. Because God, God knows the future, the, the present, and the past. And if it's him who's in control, then I'm at peace. So allow God to avenge all that has tormented you. Allow God to avenge everybody who has stepped on your toes, stepped on your heart, and felt no remorse. Tip number two, stop talking negatively about them. Because the Lord says in James 4 verse 11, Brothers, do not slander one another. He who speaks against the brother or judges him speaks against the law and judges the law. When you judge the law, you are not keeping the law. Sorry for that. When you judge the law, you are not keeping the law, but you are staying on the side in judging the law. And the law is God. So as they hurt you, I used to have that problem a lot where people hurt me and I want to express how hurt I am and I go to the next person and tell them how hurt I am. But what I did not realize is that I'm leaving an impression to that person of another person. A lot of people hate people they haven't even met in their lives before why because someone came to you and told you something and you haven't even met that person you don't even know that person so when someone hurt you go on your knees let your knees be dark than your mouth go on your knees and leave everything unto god and god will fight your battles and eventually you will have your peace because god does fight your battles that's one thing that you should always remember tip number three pray for them Matthew 5, verse 44. But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. Pray for them. No matter how hard it is, pray for them. Because remember, we are chosen by God and we are not perfect. 
that the person that has hurt you too is dealing with their own demons. Somebody did something that was very painful to me. They took my sister away from me. And until today, I'm praying because I understand that in order for them to be caught, they need to be, to, they need to give their life to God because only guilt will let them confess. But I've already forgiven them. So I want their souls to find God because that's the only way I'm going to get the truth or I'm going to get some sort of peace in my heart. God will persecute them up until they confess. And that's the only way I'm going to find my peace. So my peace is after me praying for them and asking for their souls to be saved and asking for God to give them the peace to walk into one church, to get lost in J and walk into a church and get saved. Because I need their souls in heaven too. No matter how, how much they've brutalized my heart. Forgiveness is a big one. So, tip number four. Communicate all your pain. If, you, if the person that hurt you is in close proximity, I say walk up to them and communicate your pain. Sometimes you think people know that they've hurt you and they don't even have the slightest idea that they have hurt you. So allow yourself to heal. Allow God to take control. I'm leaving you with that. Hopefully, this will help you. Like I said, the pain is not going to go away. But peace will come through eventually. Pray about it up until you don't know what happened to that pain. Because that's the happiness I've received. I love you. God loves you. Heal. And stay blessed.